And then a weird thing happened. All of my symptoms disappeared. So that was, I wrote all those symptoms down and then after noon, just everything disappeared. And I was like, was it all in my head? Like, was I just making things up? I don't know. Very strange. So I started to think, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm not pregnant. I was just paranoid or something. The next day, I got a negative pregnancy test because by that point it was just in my head and I knew that nine days was too early to get a positive, but that many of you can relate. Once it's in your head, you just need to take a test. And even if you just see a negative and say, okay, just put it out of my mind for the day, I'll test again tomorrow, but today it's negative, don't worry about it, kind of a thing. I had a little bit of cervical fluid with a slight yellow tinge, still the weird taste in the mouth, heavy cramping in my lower back, heavy cramping. Like I had to pull up a stool and sit down to do the dishes. The, even to the point where, and I don't have painful periods, like I don't have cramps, especially not like that. And so I almost thought maybe I was pregnant and I was miscarrying, that had happened one time before. And I did not experience that heavy cramping with my first. I had some bloating in the evening and a burning sensation like in my pelvis and legs and that was comparable to cramping or even to sort of what I felt like whenever I was in labor and a very, very thirsty, cannot get enough water. 10 days past ovulation, still have a uterus, bubbles, bad taste in the mouth. The bad taste is like, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. The twinges and weird pains, thirsty. I had some light pink spotting, which was a little alarming to me. I didn't experience that with my first. I could not button my pants. I had to do the whole hair tie trick thing with my snap or my button because I could not get them buttoned and I was like, what is happening? This is way too early for that. So 11 days past ovulation, I got a positive test. I took a, what's it called? <laughs> pregnancy brain. First response. I took a first response pregnancy test. It was faint, but it was positive um, for sure. And I was not even surprised. I filmed my reactions to the test and you'll see that in another video. I just already knew that I was pregnant. So it wasn't shocking. It was just like, okay. And I mean, I'm very excited, very excited to be having another baby, but it wasn't planned. My husband wasn't keen on having any more children, especially not right now. And so I was thinking, I'm going to have to tell him that I'm pregnant. I don't want to have to tell him. <laughs> so I went back and forth like, I really want a baby, but I really don't want to have to give him the news that I'm pregnant right now. I'm very excited, even though you can't tell in the videos, it's just there was a lot of processing that needed to be done. So that was 11 days past ovulation that I got the positive test. And then that day though, I had some light brown discharge and that was alarming to me because I had not experienced that before. I had only experienced that with a miscarriage, um, a very early miscarriage. And so I thought, okay, I'm pregnant, but I'm probably going to lose it. And so that was scary, but I was also having, still having other symptoms, craving fresh vegetables, peeing like every five seconds. This is early y'all. I know it's early, but and some people don't know they're pregnant for like two months. But I think that whenever you know your body and you pay attention to your body, it's hard to miss. You know, I think that a lot of times the people who don't know they're pregnant and go a long time without knowing that they're pregnant is, you know, they're people that um, are just not paying attention to their body, not paying attention to their health. Very early, very early symptoms. So the only different symptom that I experienced on 12 days past ovulation was restless leg syndrome. And I don't know if it's actually considered restless leg syndrome, but definitely just a feeling of my legs being restless and kind of having like this tickly sensation from the center of my foot up my leg. And 
I thought, oh, I don't think this happened so early in my first pregnancy. Like, this is going to be a miserable nine months because it's like you're so tired and then you get in bed and you just want to, like, move your legs and then I'm, like, constantly, like, rubbing my feet together or rubbing them on my husband's feet. It's not comfortable. So that's happening, still happening. And I'm like four weeks and two days, so 16 days by ovulation. That's how far along I am. And I feel really good today. Uh, there's still, like when I tried to exercise today and, well, I didn't try very hard, but I exercised a little bit today. And there's like an awareness of there's something going on in my uterus. Like it just feels heavier down there. Um, but I overall feel really good. I've had a couple bouts of nausea, but not too bad and I feel more energized and um, ready to just take on the day and take care of my toddler. And I just feel really good today. So I hope that that is going to be the theme <laughs> of this pregnancy is feeling really good, but I am gonna keep you updated with monthly updates so you can continue to see how my pregnancy goes along. So if you wanna keep up with that, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and um, give this video a like and a share and I will see you in the next one. So good luck. I hope this video was helpful to you and let me know um, if it was and if you get your BFP, your big fat positive pregnancy test, uh, let me know.